the way I work, specificity leads you to greater realism. But the real interest is the specificity in the object, how, how, how to build a very uh, a complex, highly specific object, and what does that do to one's appreciation of, um, of the, not just the object, but also the person, the, the representation, the figure. Does that seem right? Yeah. She's, um, we could go a bit, a bit lower through here. It's just, you know, when, they, when we see them sort of isolating as individuals like that, yeah. we have to kind of break that. Because you'll notice on him, he really does, he does have some of that effect where you see, you see, but, but it, he'll also create, instead of there being just one, there's usually little clusters. Right. Right, so that kind of, vary, that, that density varies and you can still play with that, so you can kind of go back in and, and build um, a little bit more um, that way. You can see how they're really still yeah. isolating, yeah. So. yeah. That's looking great, though. There's a lot of flexibility in this kind of process, because you can make kind of instantaneous decisions. It doesn't look like it, because it's you know obviously highly repetitious, but you can make a lot of very spontaneous decisions about shifting density or the, the working with at one moment human hair and at another moment horse hair mm. and you know you don't have to stop and drill your holes and mm. work out a pattern in advance or whatever you can just yeah, kind of improvise you can flow yeah I do distort my subjects a lot and progressively so. What it's based on is that this, this kind of sense that what I'm relating to or reacting to in, in the, the world of images that I live in is that, how, you know, is that how many of them represent us, but represent us in ways that are um, really quite dramatically distorted, if not, if not subtly d distorted, like overtly distorted. Evan's fixation on the human body as something transformable, malleable, um, unstable, has led him to naturally work with new technologies, uh, sort of at the leading edge of artists who are dealing with um, that in their work. Interestingly enough, though, he produces his work by hand. With these, what I do is I do, I do, um, I do use Photoshop, but the idea is that I, I'm sculpting a character not based on, again, not based on, an, on a source material. So there's no pre-existing portrait or person or photograph or even pieces of photographs that I'm referring to. This, this character evolves in the sculpted process. But at the end of every day, I will um, take a, a, a snapshot and go to the computer and compress it down and see what I've got, and I'll make make some notes because uh, you know basically if you're stretching something four times, for instance, what is what this is, um, it all you know the 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 the, um, the shaping is, is very very subtle, and if you if you if if you know a, a, say a silhouette like this, if I'm a little bit too exact, uh, extreme with it. When you, once you compress it down, an angle like that turns into an angle like that. Right. And so um, the distortion, whatever is not working, is amplified dramatically. Um, and so then, based on that information, uh, I'll just do a little printout and I'll sketch on that, and I'll use that as the basis for my next day's sculpting. This is uh, a stretch. Um, piece that's, uh, what is that, nine feet tall. And there's actually a photograph of that image uh, to scale, and it was actually the, the photograph that uh, one entered the exhibition through. You know, from that piece, for instance, there one encounters the actual sculpture, right? And so then, you know, one has to decide what it is one has actually just seen. Um, but uh, Here's an example of how that works. So this, this photograph, which is also you know, an artwork that was in the exhibition, is basically just a document or a compressed version of, of that studio shot. 
This is the most recent project um, that I've been working on and it's actually a collaboration between myself and a photographer, an architect and photographer, uh, Michael Awad. He's designed a camera that uh, uh, allows him to take images like this, a single image, but uh, it's an image taken over time. It's not like film, which is, you know, frame, frame by frame. It's a single frame that's moving in front of the, the lens. Uh, everything I do is, is um, starts with the photograph or with the image. And uh, with, um, with uh, I guess, a question, which is what would happen if, if you tried to represent that three-dimensionally? So often I'm, I'm choosing uh, modes of... Um, representation um, that are, one might assume, belong exclusively to the two-dimensional and which we're comfortable with in, in that two-dimensional context. Uh, but as soon as you bring it into the three-dimensional, of course, it really shifts that dynamic. Uh, the works that are coming out of that collaboration are uh, unlike works that, that I've seen before. And so I think that the two working together are are taking each individual artist in, in new directions, sort of directions that each had intuited but couldn't quite uh, figure out how to get to uh, without the other one. And I think that's the, the, the essence of collaboration, is that you work with someone who, who takes you to a new place. Well, this particular exhibition is, um, is his first US solo exhibition in a museum. Um, and uh, I felt it was important, as did Evan, to show not just one particular body of work, but a group of related works that show a bit of his range. It's something that developed over a period of a year and a half, putting together this show. While Evan's subject matter is a human body, his ultimate subject is that of observation and representation. Um, he shows us how we see in our age. Um, so he's not telling us about particular people or personalities. It's about um, the notion of how you can represent anything um, in this sort of unstable age. Evan's dealing, I think, ultimately with the idea that the human subject is something um, that we really don't know and that really has an instability in the new century. And, and his work is a, is a really compelling manifestation of that. I tend to have, have always wanted to make work that can be physically engaging and essentially engaging. I think that, that um, ability to stand in front of something and, and be absorbed into it and, and, and as a starting place I think is, uh, is, is desirable, you know, rather than be convinced to stand in front of something you should be compelled just to stand in front of it.